Hello, uh, guys, welcome to a special episode of Tropecast. This is episode 50. Yeah, episode 50. How about it? And, um, but this is also part two of proportional aging tropes. This time we're going shorter lifespan and fast aging. Anime and manga. Windermans, sorry, Windermarans in Macross Delta are, are a subspecies of humanity created by the protoculture to have incredible physical abilities at the cost of a radically shortened lifespan. The average Windermaran lives barely 30 to 35 years. It's played with in that its main concerns, it mainly concerns their social age rather than biological. Frazier, for example, is 14 and looks it, but is considered an old maid and enters the story to escape an arranged marriage with a potential suitor who she believes is better as friends with Hellman is already an old man by their standards at 33 with confirmed grandchildren and he doesn't look any older than that. Live action films Clone troopers in Star Wars are modified to age at twice the rate of regular humans allowing them to become combat ready in half the time. However, it comes with the drawback of halving their lifespans, which is why they've mostly been phased out in favour of regular human recruits by the time of the original trilogy. As of A New Hope, the youngest clones are chronologically 19 years old, which means they're pushing 40 biologically. Literature a Christmas Carol, as Scrooge and the Ghost of Christmas Present go about watching people celebrate the holiday, Scrooge is surprised to notice that the ghost is rapidly aging. The ghost explains that his lifespan is only a single day and ends at night. Okay, now we're going to go... For the end of this one now, the gnomes in Gnomes Trilogy live for about 10 years, assuming nothing eats them, and all references to their age, or even their experience of time, assumes a year for them is roughly equivalent to a decade for us. Live action TV. And this is only one example here. Star Trek Voyager. The Ocampa only live nine years and by age one are fully adult. That would put them uh, biologically around age 20 or so. So, tabletop games. Dungeons and Dragons. Half orcs reach adulthood at 14 and are considered venerable at 60, with a max age of 80. Humans are adults at 15 and venerable at 70, with a max lifespan of 110. Full blooded orcs have it even more, uh, even worse, reaching adulthood between the ages of 11 to 14. Becoming middle aged at 17, and they're considered elderly at 23, and are venerable at 35. They technically can live up to 50 years, but an orc living past 45 is unheard of without some sort of magical assistance. Okay, fair enough. In Shadowrun, all metahumans are legally considered adults at 18. 
the orcs are physically mature at 12 and live 35 to 40 years. Video games. In Sword of the Stars, Zul grow to full size in a matter of months and usually die of natural causes before they turn 40. The Hosen of World of Warcraft are very short lived are a very short lived race, having lifespans of about twenty years. Their elders are typically around thirteen or fourteen years old. Ah Winston, Overwatch's resident uplifted gorilla is twenty nine years old, but comes across as middle aged. Real life gorillas live about fifty years. Web comics. He, uh, Kevin and Kel has played this for laughs with actual mayflies. Such comics often show them being born and dying within the course of the same strip. In public humiliation, pukas mature in about a year. Their lifespan is never given specific numbers but it was short enough for Boo to break up with her longer-lived boyfriend for fear of leaving him when he still has his life ahead of him. Blank. In two kinds. Kedrons can live up to their my up to their mid-twenties and are adults around eight or nine, the age around the age of 8 or 9, about a third of their lifespan. Western Animation In Fantastic Mr. Fox, the concept of fox years implies that foxes age six times as fast as humans. Ash is two years or twelve fox years old and is about as mature as a twelve-year-old child while Mr. Fox is seven years old, which would be 42 Fox years, and has a midlife crisis. The Petalers. In Thundercast 2011, age from childhood to death by old age in a single day. From their perspective, it feels like a long life. Other. Oh yeah, that's just that. Okay, guys. That's it. For our look. At proportional aging tropes. Hope you enjoyed it. Next of all. We are going to look at a trope that most forms of storytelling would use. especially animation yes we are going to have a look at that At last, we are having a look at the not allowed to grow up trope. And of course that would state that no longer, no matter how long a work of fiction lasts, the characters remain the same age. Yeah. So, until then guys, thanks for watching.